So this is the city of Songkla in Songkla province. Really beautiful. So green. Gondola here costs 30 baht per person. Oh, hello. Oh. Wow. 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 The view is so great and that thing turned out to be a funicular and not a gondola <laughs> And we've arrived at Dangkwan Hilltop, Songkla City, Thailand So that funicular took about 3 minutes to reach the top So I think it's quite efficient, it didn't take that long and it's also quite inexpensive to get up here with a nice view out here Really nice, you get the sea view And um, a bit of the temple view as well, there's a temple at the top Right there So once you're up here, you can stay for as long as you want, there's no time limit you can go down whenever you want, so it's really convenient. And once again, I am here all by myself. I'm here on my own again. So it's really peaceful and quiet up here. It's so nice. Wow. There's even facility for disabled people. This is the city of Songkla in Songkla province. Despite being the capital of Songkla province, this is actually not the biggest city in the province, but it's actually Hat Yai with more population, I think more than double the population, and yeah, bigger in geography as well, I think. So, um, yeah, this is more of a I guess government hub and Hat Yai is more of a business hub. Wow. Man, I so wish I could fly my drone here, but I won't. On the left side is the ocean, in the middle is a hill, and on the right side is a huge river with more hills. Perfect. Wow. It's just an empty room inside, below this whole thing. This hilltop is 105 meters above sea level. This specific building seems to be quite abandoned. It's really empty, it doesn't look quite finished. It's mostly just structures. I feel like I'm doing a bit of urban exploration here. <laughs> Goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm usually quite scared of these kind of things, but um, it's <laughs> middle of the daylight. So I guess it's not as bad. I highly doubt the toilets are functioning though. Uh, 
Um, yeah, well, I huh? don't have to go there just huh? yet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this place could be a little more... A little more uh, renovated or maintained at least. Even electricity isn't available here yet. <laughs> the aircon is broken there. The lift is really cold. <laughs> car has been parked for too long and now it's being swamped by the monkeys Arr. we arrived at the Ka Hong mountain which translates to um, the swan's neck mountain and now I'm about to go up the cable car yay excited about it this is in Hat Yai Okay, so I'll get on the cable car here, going all the way there, which is not that far. It's really beautiful. Wow. So green. Of course, cable cars have to be Swiss. They're famous for creating cable cars. So this one is Doppelmayr. And I am all alone again. Totally on my own. <laughs> Feel awesome. It's just me again. <laughs> So the entrance is 100 baht. I'm not sure if the price is different for foreigners, but as a Thai, I pay 100 baht. See the whole view of Hat Yai. Wow. So it's 100 baht for locals and 200 for tourists or foreigners. So this is where the um, Rama four-faced statue lies. And this is where people come to worship, make wishes, and sometimes they promise to give something when their wishes come true and here's also where they 
light up firecrackers, like, I don't know, thousands, maybe more firecrackers huh? all over the place. And yep, there are hundreds, if not thousands of elephant statues. I'm not quite sure what they symbolize, but yes, gotta be something about prosperity, good luck, something good for sure. Yeah, yeah, so it's quite interesting. It's like a mix of Thai and Chinese style here. Going back down with the cable car to where that big golden Buddha statue is. It's wow. gonna rain soon as well, I think. So this is how many firecrackers there actually were. Oh my, it's a lot. Okay, it's starting to get quite windy and uh, cloudy. It's gonna rain pretty soon, I guess, and it's not good to be in a gondola while it's raining or windy. So they said that there are only two cable cars spreading, regardless, like always just two. And well, it takes about two to five minutes to get down. He doesn't know exactly. Not yet. Clouds in the skies are amazing. Wow. 